Hey, I'm Ryan, and I'm here to review the Royal Tenenbaum. So, a good friend of mine started doing this challenge recently where it's called 100 Films in 100 Days, where you have to watch 100 movies once every day for 100 days. So I decided I'd do the same thing, but I would record reviews. I'd review each one in order of when I watch them, and, I start, and I'd decide to start off with the Royal Tenenbaums, something I hadn't seen before, and I really like Wes Anderson as a director, and I thought I'd give this a chance, you know? So let me talk about the things I liked and didn't like about the film. So, first I'm going to talk about what I liked about the film. The biggest thing I liked about the film was the acting. It had an unbelievable cast. Everyone was great in it. It had Gene Hackman, Jason Schwartzman. Oh no, Jason Schwartzman. It was only his voice at one point. Uh, I always get him and Luke Wilson mixed up. But Luke Wilson, Owen Wilson, Ben Stiller. Danny Glover, and actually give me a second to look at the DVD. Gwyneth Paltrow, oh no, wait, that's, yeah, Gwyneth Paltrow is Margot, but who plays their mom? Angelica Houston, of course. Can't believe I forgot that, I'm such an idiot. But, basically, every, all the acting was great. The character, the writing was really good. That was all really good. And also, I like the visuals. The visuals are really good. I like Wes Anderson's style. I like his color schemes he uses. I think all of that is really, really good, and it makes the whole thing really interesting and fun to watch. However, the biggest thing I liked about it was... However, the biggest thing I liked about it was the writing, which I already mentioned how good the writing was, but it's unbelievable. It really just flows and makes things interesting and you stay engaged. Even though, uh, even though the, I was engaged and I enjoyed it, uh, I'm going to bring up in my cons the biggest problem with the film, uh, which kind of has to do with this, but overall the writing, the dialogue itself was really good and really interesting and... Uh, you had really likable characters, even when they were really unlikable people, you still like the characters, you know? So now I'm going to talk about what I didn't like about the film. And uh, there's not very many things I don't like about this film. Uh, the only one big complaint I have is the pacing. It was slow to get through. It felt like I was trudging through it. I was like checking every few minutes. I'm like, how long do I have left? It felt like It's felt like it's been about 20 or so minutes, but it's only been about five. It was, it was slow, uh, and uh, the pacing very inconsistent throughout the film. You know, I can understand a slow film, and that sort of adds the atmosphere, but this is a very, very, should be quick sort of thing. Um, and, like, it was just so slow. I was like, what the hell? Um, and then by the end, the last couple scenes, it's like rapid fire. It's like think something, 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 something. When nothing happened the first hour and 30 minutes, like, it was like, oh my god, trying to get through it, it's like, it's like, okay, let's wait for something to happen, you know, mate? Um, so, I, that's the one big thing I didn't like, uh, and I, I noticed, I started thinking about it during the film, and that's a, that's a common theme throughout Wes Anderson films that I don't like. I love his films, but sometimes the pacing can get very slow for me um it feels like that uh, he gets too, too stuck in the style and it lets things linger for too long and doesn't really get things going and a lot of his films take a long time not a long time but it takes a little bit to get going to get into the heat of it you know uh, they're very slow to start especially so yeah that's my biggest gripe with the film. Uh, some other things I didn't like was I think that some scenes, uh, some of the the structure of some scenes felt a little disjointed at times, uh, particularly around the middle of the film. But uh, that's just me, you know. Uh, I think that 
uh, there was, I think that uh, some of the story beats felt a little bit weird, like how just on the, the flip of a coin, uh, Royal Tenenbaum went from being this cynical, miserable guy to being this like good-hearted, charitable person. Uh, maybe I missed something, maybe I didn't interpret it right, but that just seemed a little bit odd to me. But yeah, so that's that's the thing that I dislike. So I know that was a rather short-ish review of this, but the thing is, is that they say that uh, it's much harder to talk about something you liked than something you didn't like, and this was a film I enjoyed. So there's not very much to say about it other than I liked it, it was good, you know. Uh, all the visual elements were good, the acting was good. Um, even though the pacing I struggled with at times, I still overall enjoyed the experience and I'm glad I watched it as the first film of these hundred films in a row. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you watch more of them. Uh, I'm going to have my full letterbox review, which will be about, basically about the same as this. Uh, it'll be in the description of this video. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Ryan with Ryan's Reviews, my hundred films in 100 Days Challenge. Thank you very much.